R&B legend Johnny Taylor has died without a will at the age of 66. Three people have stepped forward to challenge his six acknowledged children for a share of his $1.3 million estate. They claim that they are Taylor's secret children, but to prove it, they must resort to a controversial DNA test. The DNA sibling study that Mark McCraw has proposed in the fall of 2000 is not as well known as straightforward paternity testing, and there are doubts that it will work. The alternative is to dig up Taylor's grave and exhume his corpse. When I first heard of someone even mention the fact that they wanted to come to Kansas City and uh, exhume my father's body, I said I would fight it tooth and nail. To prevent the exhumation of her father's corpse, Johnny Taylor's eldest daughter, Sabrina, agrees to provide a sample of her DNA. The DNA expert that Mark McCraw hires to conduct the test promises that in a few months' time, he will be able to provide test results. Anticipating a conclusive answer, Judge DeShazo sets a hearing date for December 20, 2000. But the judge's optimism will not be rewarded. The DNA testing takes far longer than expected, and with every delay, bills continue to pile up. Every time we went back to a court hearing, the first item on the, the docket was the fees to be extracted from the estate for attorneys. And that was very much an irritant to me. Anthony's anger is shared by his younger brother, Floyd. Floyd makes the decision to confront Fonda personally in an effort to establish some kind of relationship with her. I was out on a promotional tour and it just happened to be in a town where she lived and at a radio station that I was doing a promotional thing with. And I worked for the radio station, the front door at a club in Charlotte on Thursday nights. So I get to the club and he comes in and performs. He came over to me and started bothering me and said, we need to go outside and talk. And I told myself, I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm not going anywhere with you and this is not the place to talk. So I walked over to her and I asked, I said, hey, can we talk? She says, I'm working. I say, well, I can handle that. So I goes over and I talk to her boss, and he say, hey, that's no problem. Yeah, you can talk to her. And he just kept, you know, trying to get me to go outside, and I told him no, and he just kept getting madder and madder. Meanwhile, something tells me to turn around, and I can see her waving her hands like this here, no. What do you have to hide? What do you have to hide? 